How to create a World War II trailer with iMovie. Step one, complete your research and your captions. You have your topic, mine was concentration camps, and then I made six different questions and then you found the answers to these questions. After I did that, then I made six different captions from the research I did, and after I did that, I planned out the kinds of photos that I was going to use in my movie. Step two, you're gonna create your trailer and add captions. So in the iPad, you're gonna open the iMovie app. You're gonna go to create project and then you're gonna click trailer. And then you have a series of themes that you can use for your World War II trailer. But keep in mind that World War II is pretty serious. So you might not wanna use things like um, indie or retro because they're kind of fun. You're looking for a serious tone. So I chose adrenaline. You're gonna choose and then hit choose. Step three, now you're gonna take your iPad and go find some books that have to do with the topic that you're discussing. So I did the Holocaust and the concentration camps, so I found books about concentration camps. So you're gonna grab those and go in and take a bunch of different photos about the things that your captions are gonna talk about. Once you've gathered all the photos that you need for your project, you might need to go into the Photos app on your iPad and edit them and adjust the orientation or click on the magic button and make them look great. And then you're all set to go. Now that you have the right photos, you're gonna add them into your iMovie. So go back into your trailer in the storyboard and click on a gray box and then click Recently Added, which will bring up all the photos you've just taken on your iPad. And for every caption, you're gonna choose which picture suits the caption best, and then just click on it, and it bounces right in the gray box. Keep hitting the gray boxes and adding the photos, and then your whole thing will be full of pictures for your trailer. That all your photos are in, you're ready to export it. So preview it, make sure it looks good, and then hit the share button and boom, Bob's your uncle.